Hi, Miles. Hi, friends. This story is called Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs. Look at all those dinosaurs. Gran thought the attic needed cleaning out. She let Harry help. Harry found an old box, all covered with dust. He lifted the lid. Dinosaurs! Harry took the dinosaurs downstairs. He unbent the bent ones. He fixed the broken ones. He got up on a chair and washed them in the sink. Graham came to see. Just what do you think you're up to, she asked. Dinosaurs don't like boxes, Harry said. They want to be in a bucket. Sam came in from watching TV. She said it was stupid fussing over so much junk. Dinosaurs aren't junk, Harry said. The next day, Harry went to the library with Mom. He took the dinosaurs in their bucket. He found out all the names in a book and told them to the dinosaurs. He whispered to each one, You are my Scalidosaurus. You are my Stegosaurus. You are my Triceratops. And there were enough names for all the dinosaurs. The Apatosaurus the Ankosaurus, and the Tyrannosaurus. The dinosaurs said, Thank you, Harry. They said it very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. After that, the dinosaurs went everywhere with Harry. They went shopping. They went to the garden center. They went to the beach. When Harry had a bath, the dinosaurs had a bath. When Harry went to bed, the dinosaurs went to bed. Sometimes they got left behind, but they were never lost for long because Harry knew all their names and he always called out their names just to make sure they were safe. One day, Harry went on a train with Gran. He was so excited, he forgot all about the bucket. Gran dried his eyes. Never mind, she said. I'll buy you a nice new video. Harry, Harry watched the video with Sam. It was nice, but not like the dinosaurs. At bedtime, Harry said to Mom, I like videos. But I like my dinosaurs better because you can fix them, you can bathe them, and you can, you can take them to bed. And best of all, you can say their names. Harry was still upset at breakfast the next morning. Sam said, dusty old junk. That was why Sam's book got milk on it. Gran took Harry to his room to settle down. Later, Gran took Harry back to the train station to see the lost and found man. The man said, dinosaurs? Yes, we have found some dinosaurs, but how do we know they are your dinosaurs? Harry said, I will close my eyes and call their names. Then you will know. Harry closed his eyes and called their names. He called, come back, my Scalidosaurus. Come back, my Stegosaurus. Come back, my Triceratops. He called, come back to all the dinosaurs, the Apatosaurus and the Ankosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus and all of the lost old dinosaurs. And when he opened his eyes, there they were, all of them, standing on the counter next to the bucket. All correct, said the man. These are definitely your dinosaurs, definitely. And the dinosaurs whispered to Harry. They whispered very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. You are definitely our Harry, 
definitely. Going home from the station, Harry was very happy. Gran said to the neighbor, Our Harry likes those old dinosaurs. Definitely, whispered Harry. And my dinosaurs definitely like me. The Endosaurus. And that's the Apatosaurus, the Triceratops, the Scalidosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus, the Stegosaurus, and the Ankosaurus.